Hey everybody, this is going to be a different video. Um, I'll try to have it a little less structured because I've actually got my buddy here, Big Cheese. Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> He's my monk friend. We do a lot of content together. We'll do Mythic Pluses. Funny enough, he hasn't been in, I don't think, any of my Mythic Plus videos. Um, but we, we raid together. Uh, you might see him on the DPS meter there if he chooses to perform well on some uh, some boss fights. <laughs> just kidding. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a run of the Maw. I just want to show you guys what we do. I've been We've been pretty much doing this every day. Uh, we basically have everything unlocked. <coughs> so we start by porting to the Beast Warrens and we go into this cave here. We're going to do, I guess, a complete run. Uh, you guys obviously don't have to do all this. You can do whatever you want. But this is what we do. It gets us to five... What is it? Five Tier 5 of Eye of the Jailer. Gets us a bunch of Stygia every day. We've missed a few days here and there, but... I mean... Got a good amount of Stygia banked. And we've buttoned some sockets, right? Yep. So we start off in this cave. And we kill Sangwar, the Torturer. Now, I know a lot of people hate the Maw, because it's very repetitive, not that fun. What are your thoughts on it? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of relaxing. Yeah, like we, we normally do it after a raid night or kind of like, most of the time it's like the last thing we do before going to bed, I guess. Yep. Sometimes we'll do a Mythic Plus right after, depending on the day, but uh, yeah, it's just, that's pretty chill. We've got our little route kind of or uh, memorize, I guess you can say, at this point. Um, so here, once a week, we'll do the hunt, and then we do the Wrath of the Jailer. So for the hunt, what's the first part? What do we have to do here? It's... What do we kill in here? I think we kill Skull. Uh, shifting life beater. Yeah, it... Like, the tooltip is not showing that I have to kill him for some reason. But, okay. I guess we just kill it. Yeah, okay, counted. Weird. So now it's... What is there to kill? I'm not seeing anything on the map. Is that it? 291 Stygia? Pretty sure we just finished it. I thought you had to like, chase a dog downstairs or something. I guess not. It's uh, not that one right now. It ch changes every three days. <laughs> gotcha. Well, I guess we're pretty fortunate because the other one's more involving. I guess you can say. It takes more time to do. Alright, so now we're gonna follow this path here. I'm showing you guys with my mouse. We kind of dip into Perdition Hold. There's one NPC that we like to spawn. It's pretty easy to kill. There's three orbs you need to... Or three, like, kind of runes you need to click on the ground. And they spawn some orbs. But you need to click them in the right order. If you click them out of order, you take a lot of damage. And we've had some unfortunate events where we both die. And it's pretty funny. <laughs> Oh yeah. Add some exciting elements to our Maw runs every day. So here, we'll let Mr. Big Cheese trip. <laughs> Alright, middle one's not okay. the right one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's it left, oh, I almost, almost first tried this. So it's left, middle, and right. So I'll start killing the guy. So unfortunately, if Big Cheese dies, I can't actually res him. But if I die, and then he, <laughs> you know, he reses me, and there's no yeah. harm, no harm done. And I, I, I feel very, I will just say inadequate every time he dies. Because <laughs> I can't help him, or I can't res him. So now we're going to head into Perdition Hold. Always important to pick up some herbs along the way here. We both have some nice CCs. Uh, it was definitely nice before we had our our, uh, our mob mount. We could CC quite a bit. We both had decent mobility. Monks definitely have better mobility, but uh, yeah, we were able to kind of maneuver around here, CC some mobs we didn't want to pull, and we would just do basically our dailies every day. Would you say like since the beginning we've missed maybe what? Like, Four or five days of the maw around that, or ah, uh, it's probably about a about seven days for me at this point. But yeah. most yeah. of them have been recent because I just haven't cared as much lately. Yeah, 
So I guess 10 to like not add too much benefit yet since you can only put in like 16 of a secondary stat. And uh, <clears throat> I got lucky like my neck piece, my best in slot next piece. I got a socket on it. So immediately that takes off like 7.5k Stygia uh, that, I, like, that I would need. Okay, you're getting every single one that I'm trying to get. <laughs> uh, you got that one. Uh, yeah, I got that one. Um, since we did the Be Sworn event, like the hunt, there's some extra rares that we won't need to kill. So it might shorten our route a little bit. But I just wanted to include at least one of the big world events so that you can see like how easy it is to do to get that extra Stygia at least once a week. Okay, I got that one. There's one down here. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this Neophyte. So yeah, I kind of mentioned it before, but we have every single Venari upgrade, which makes this a lot easier. Makes our Turgas runs easier as well. But Turgas at this point is pretty easy. H how long does it take you to do your Turgas runs now? Oh, 15, 20 minutes tops. Yeah. For, like each or like totaled each yeah yeah wait did it but i don't try to rush through them too much yeah same i try to get like some some fun power-ups i guess kind of enjoy my time doing it so here we have the grapple point we're gonna jump up here yeah let's get a little closer see ya sucker <laughs> And now we've got the- Oh, no, he's about to die! We just missed it. Ah, it sucks. Okay, well, change of plans. So, most of the time we tend to wait out respawns. <laughs> and sometimes we're sitting, you know, waiting for like, I don't know, 10 minutes for something to respawn. Especially for the, the mobs in the in the We know, we know <laughs> the ones. <laughs> There's two that have a long respawn and we, we kind of play like, you know, like, oh, we've committed at this point. We're not going anywhere. Then we end up just chatting over Discord <laughs> for 10 minutes. And, uh, yeah, just waiting for the respawns. The ones in this area are actually pretty good. They're not too bad. Down below here, there's a guy, but he's not up either. Uh, yeah, Soul Smith, Yol Matar. So what we were doing in the beginning when we were trying to kind of rush to exalt it to unlock sockets, we'll, we'll call this uh, the, the sweaty tactic, where you leave... Uh, one quest objective up <clears throat> and then you only collect a raid at the end when you can kind of like rush back so that lets you get in more rares into your, your daily route um, so there's a bit of backtracking involved so we'll, we'll do that here just to show you guys we're going to collect 11 uh, blazing ingots oh there we go the guy's back up and so is the other guy so we can kill the guy down below Look at that, being a pro, breaking out of your chains. Easy. Interrupt this guy. So the trick as a hunter, when you're doing this with a friend, is to always fang death and misdirect to your friend. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, and also, doing the maw with a friend is like doing Mythic Plus. You want to try to not use your cooldowns at the same time, because <laughs> at this point everything just melts. And... Ah, uh, they killed him again up here. So maybe we wait out his respawn. We'll collect some ingots. It's up to you. We? Yeah, we can just wait it out. How many more ingots do you need? I need, I need two more. Five more, okay. Let's kill this flame binder. Boom, one shot. Man, remember when the Ma used to be scary? I remember those days. <laughs> yeah, early on... There was a real risk of losing Stygia if you died in the wrong place. Yeah. And I remember the f <laughs> the first day where I had access to Perdition Hold. Like, Perdition Hold is way scarier than Beast Warrens, and you unlock Beast Warrens, like, later, right? Oh, or, yeah. Like, it came second, but, man, I remember the first day I got Perdition. I I was already at five stacks of the uh, Eye of the Jailer, and I was like, oh, man, there's got to be something cool in there. And I ran in at five stacks, and that was the time where you can actually... So when you hit five stacks, you get that stacking debuff, but you could actually log out and it would reset your debuff. And I kept logging out and I kept exploring it and I, I kept dying, but I kept making it back to my body. So I was definitely playing with fire and 
I probably killed one or two extra rares but soon after like I found out it wasn't really a point of doing that uh, yeah yeah but it was fun exploring some uncharted territory okay so I'm gonna go ahead and thank death at the 11th ingot now we're gonna continue up north here oh do I have a teleporter yeah good I got one charge left to port back so next there's a rare up here just to the north I uh, just at a high level to go over the road, so we, uh, like, put the map open. We go to B-Sworns, do the quest, and we head into Perdition. We come up this way, do whatever quest, and then we go counterclockwise. Our friend's dead. Ah, oh, our friend's dead. Not Odal. Oh. oh, he despawned! <laughs> so he should respawn shortly. Hopefully. Is this somebody's real body over here in front of us? Like, somebody, like, player corpse? Look at that steaming nah. pile of Stygia. Nah, it looks like there's two corpses here. Yeah, I guess not. I guess not. Uh, perfect. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing the thing where we both pop our cooldowns. Nope, you know? I only popped one thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But basically, nobody else had a chance. Oh, did he target it? This, uh, Pendarn Hunter? I don't know. I'm sorry, that. sir. Yeah, and Antoinette. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's pick up the daily up here. So we're already approaching four. This quest is pretty quick and easy to do. Yeah, if you guys don't like doing the ma, I guess let this be my recommendation to you. Don't feel like you need to do it all the time, but if you do get into the habit of doing it, doing it with a friend is definitely a lot more enjoyable. Just make it like a you know, like half an hour before, I mean, obviously do it when you want. You don't have to do it before bed. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know, just, just do it with a friend. It, you're just shooting the shit over Discord, having fun. You're getting Stygia every day. You never have to worry about farming it. It just becomes, uh, I guess, second nature. Or you can uh, just refuse to do it all together and say, I don't care how fun you're making it look, I'm not doing this. No harm, no foul. Do what you want to do. The game at the end of the day. Uh, looks like we finished this quest. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and that happens too. Don't beat yourself up over finishing a quest and not being all sweaty about it. And if you really don't like the mob, but you need the Stygia, just do the weeklies and then the dailies when you feel like it. Exactly. Yeah, you don't have to go around killing all the rares. We got into the habit of doing it, but the yeah, you'll you'll be plenty fine just doing the uh, the dailies. Oh, look at that! Wrath of Jailer's up too. Maybe we do that. I just like doing it once a week. Well, you can only do it once a week <laughs> for rewards anyway. So it'll take a while for Wrath of Jailer to kick in. So I think we have time to do this rare. We just show people how to do this. So to summon this guy here, you actually need to kill a bunch of shades in the area. Let's go ahead and do that. Make it rain here. They're already dead. Got a couple more shades here. I'll tag everything. And again, oh, I'm not following my own advice. Always mix misdirect to the to the monk in your group. That's the most important thing to do. Okay, yeah, big boy drifting sorrow spawn. Pop our CDs. I was a hunter. Don't be afraid to pop bloodlust either. I know I'm not doing it here because this guy is pretty much already dead. But a Ma run takes about. How long does it take us? Like 25 minutes? Half an hour? Let's just round up to half an hour in case it's a slower night. Half an hour is a nice estimate. Yeah. You get like three bloodlust. That makes three rares like extremely easy and quick to kill. Alright, so we've got. We're not going to be able to do a full route here because we're doing these weeklies. Um. But I think we'll contribute to the Eye of the Jailer. Or sorry, the, uh... Not Eye of the Jailer, what's it called? Wrath of the Jailer. By killing these rares. So if you take that portal we just took, it brings you up here. And this is... Like, keep keep it in mind, even if you have to kill this guy, taking that portal, like, drops combat with basically everything. So if you pull too much and you can't thing death, because you're a club class... Uh, yeah, just take that portal and you're you're golden.
So Dartanos or Dratnos, whatever you want to call this guy. He's an easy kill. Obviously, don't get hit by the spikes. So what's it looking like? We can kill the Malevolent Stygia down below? Sure. Okay. So I like to jump off here and then disengage here. I almost died. And you're going to aggro quite a bit of things. Just run into the cave. They're all going to run into you. If your monk friend is a little behind you, just summon your pet. Because you can always misdirect to your pet as well. And here we go. Let's lust because we can. I should have probably lost it on the Wrath of the Jailer, but... Oh, well. A biggie. And the, the big play strat, if you get abducted by the... The things that abduct you, I don't know what they're called. The Stygian abductors or something. The, the big play is to just touch a death it. Assert dominance, one-shot it as he comes down from the sky. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's uh, <coughs> Big Cheese's special... Special ability. All right, where is he in the corner up here? Perfect. Um, after we kill this thing, we might be able to squeeze in one more rare. We don't. We like obviously don't need to. But I kind of just want to show off how much time you actually have after you hit five stacks of the uh, Wrath of the Jailer. Yep. So if nobody's helping you, just make sure you're healing your pet. People will eventually clue in that this uh, Herald is the one you need to kill, not all these little NPCs. <laughs> Always be a bro in the maw. If people are getting hit by uh, or being chased by assassins, do them a solid, help them. If people are getting abducted, help them out. If they're going to help you, they probably won't actually. They probably won't even know who helped them, but you can go to bed easy that night or go to bed happy knowing you helped somebody. <laughs> that only gave 108 Stygia, eh? Hmm. Yeah, but you do get a chance at a nice piece of gear. Yeah. <laughs> what is it, 183? <laughs> 183, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's not bad. Oh yeah, we still have to hand in the ingots, which we'll do, I guess, we'll, we'll port back after we kill another rare. Um, yep. Yeah, then we'll, we can just run out of the safe zone and do that. So we're going to go up this little bridge area. I guess uh, Crixia is pretty free, or do we... No, let's just go straight ahead to... Uh, Hui Hui, whatever his name is. Herath. Her something. Herath, yeah. We tend to give nicknames to most of these guys. Yeah, they all have some funky names. Is he in the cave? Uh, I don't think he's up. Alright, we can just do Crixia. Okay, let's do. Oh, wait, who's up there? Oh, not just so well. Okay, yeah, let's do Crixia. The Crixia's in kind of an awkward spot, but there's actually these grapple points all around her little pit area that you can easily. Uh, you can jump, like, use them to get out. So it's so shaped down here. Looks like she's flying around. She, she'll kind of do, like, a loop around here and then land on her platform. I'll be here. Look at that. Speak of the devil. Ooh. Got some style points for gliding in here. So we're at five sacks right now. As your stacks go up, as you probably know, you, you take less and less healing. Or you're able to be, I guess, healed less and less. And then at 10 stacks, you start taking a lot of uh, ticking damage. So at this point, I mean, we can just play it safe. We can pour it out. You might be able to squeeze in one more rare, but, you know, come on. No need. So now we're just going to run out. Actually, we can mount up. I always forget you can mount up in this area. I feel like it's like a place where you can't mount, but you can. So now we just need to find one more ingot, and we're solid. That'll wrap up a, you know, I, I should have looked at the timer. I guess I can see, here, look at that. Recording is only at 19 minutes. So maybe 30 minutes was, uh. When we were less geared, it was definitely yeah. 30 minutes. That's true, that's true. And you know what? Yeah, I think most people, uh, yeah. We'll, I think 30 minutes, 20, 20 or 30 minutes is definitely like a good estimate for how long it takes. With two people, anyway. Solo is definitely longer. Okay, so now that we have everything done, we're just gonna come back in this little sanctuary area, as you guys probably already know. We're gonna hand this in. Find anything of interest. And there we go. So now I purchased, I think, three of the. Uh, what are they called? Spatial realignment apparatuses. 
which gives a, a socket to some of your your pieces. I purchased I think three of them, and I'm sitting at just under four thousand or sorry forty thousand CGL. So I'm set for a while. Uh, my necks got a socket. My rings have sockets on them already. Uh, what's the other piece? My headpiece has one, and I just I don't have one on my belt. I could probably have one to my belt, but I think I was hoping to get a piece from Mythic. Anyways, I digress. It doesn't matter what my gear has. That's tomorrow run. Uh, I know this is different than the normal content I do. I mean, I guess it is sort of a guide. Um, a little less structured. Hope uh, you guys enjoyed the additional commentary from Big Cheese here. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Take it easy.